Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to generate porcupine plot. So what is porcupine plot? You can see in this photograph. This plot looks like the spine of porcupine. Okay. So this actually explains the movement of the backbone of protein. Okay. So you can see in this region, the backbone is more flexible than this region. Okay. So this spine-like structure, it indicates the degree of movement and also the direction of the movement. So in this region, the backbone is highly flexible and in this direction, it's moving. Okay. So we can get this kind of plot from the PCA axis. You know the large movement or key movement, these movements are captured along the principal component axis. So, first of all, we need to extract the structure or frame along any PCA axis and then we can generate this porcupine plot. Okay, so basically, porcupine plot explains the direction and magnitude of the movement of backbone or actually the flexible region of the protein okay so first of all we need to extract few frames along any principal component axis in my previous tutorial that means post simulation analysis for this tutorial where i have explained about the principal component analysis i have also explained how to extract this extreme structure so again i am showing you the command which we need to extract this extreme structure along any principal component x. So this is the whole protocol for generation of porcupine plot and this command that means gmx nih and input we are going to use xtc file, cpr file and as output we will get this extreme.ptp okay and this first and last means it's along the principal component number one and total 50 frames will be extracted. So we will get a extreme dot PDP structure. So let's see. So in my tutorial folder, I have kept this extreme dot PDP structure. Now simply open it in text file. Open with notepad. And here you can see total 50 frames are there. Okay. So, first of all, we have to copy this first frame. And we need to save in a separate text file as PDB. And this frame is the first frame. Up to this. So, copy using control c and open a new notepad file and paste it here now save it as desktop in desktop tutorial folder as fast dot edb and also change it to all files so now it will be saved as pdb file and you can see this is the fast dot pdb similarly we need to save another pdb file which is the last dot pdp that means the last frame because we have total 50 frames are there and we don't need 50 frames for generation of porcupine plot we need only two extreme frames the first and last total 50 frames are required only for visualization of the changes along any pc axis Sorry, this is the last frame from extreme.pdb. So 
So copy it and open a new notepad and paste it. So this is the last frame. So save it as last dot ptp and save it as also. Now we have with us these two XT frames. And we need another file, a TCL script for generation of power to point plot because the VMD software need this script. And I have kept this script in VMD folder. That means the folder where actually the VMD software is installed. It's present in local disk C program file. Then go to VMD. And you can see the, this porcupine plot dot tcl, this tcl script is present here. Without this script, this plot cannot be generated. This script contains the instruction how to generate this porcupine plot. And you need to save it in this folder, that means program file. Okay. And you can collect or download this porcupine plot dot tcl from the description box of this tutorial. Now let's move to the plot generation part. So now open the VMD. Okay. This is the VMD software. This is the protocol. So we need to follow this protocol. So first of all, load the first and last frame in VMD as new molecule. Okay. So open, click here, file, new molecule, and then browse the fast.pdb, which is present in tutorial folder. Open it and load. So this is the first frame. Okay. Now, similarly, open the last frame. So, again, file, new molecule, browse, and last, last frame. Now, both the extreme frames are present here. You can change the view from perspective to orthography. You can remove the axis. Okay. You can change the background. From black to white. Background. Okay. Now open now open the TK console. Okay. So you can find this console here extension then TK console. So this is the area where you can put your command for running the VMD. Okay. So first of all, TK console type display porcupine plot dot TCL. That means you are instructing to read or follow the porcupine plot dot TCL script. So type play porcupine plot dot TCL. Okay, then enter. And nothing appears there. That means everything is, is perfect. Okay. Then select the first frame. That simply click here the first frame and type here 
Item select 0 and within quotation name CA that means C alpha. So type here atom select 0 then space name C alpha then enter. So we have selected the first one. Similarly, click on the last dot PDP and type here atom select. 1 space within quotation name ca then enter so now the vmd read this first and last time and assigning it as atom select 0 and atom select 1 now type this command porcupine plot then difference this symbol then difference d i double f atom select one space atom select zero and then enter sorry there is small mistake in typing so for coupine Plot atom select one, then atom select zero. Okay, so our porcupine plot is ready now. MD actually check the difference between the two frames and then use this arrow marks or this pine like arrow marks to indicate the flexible region and the direction of movement. Now we have to save this image and for that you can use VMD's render option. So click on render. Then select tachyon and browse to save the folder where you want to save your porcupine plot image. So I am selecting this tutorial and give it a name plot.bmp. Save and if you want to increase the resolution of this image. So type here hyphen raise that means resolution and 4000 to 2000. In this resolution, this image will be saved. So start rendering. So you can check within this tutorial folder. Now we have saved this plot for coupon plot. So it's a publication quality image. You can use it in your paper or research article. Okay. So uh, that's all for this tutorial. Thank you. Thank you for watching.